All right, here is a quick video of the classroom, just in case parents didn't get a chance to actually look around or attend entrance conferences, or you can show family members the classroom that your son or daughter will be in. Um, here's the entrance, so you'll see your child's name somewhere on the door to let them know that they are a member of our classroom. And then we also took pictures at entrance conferences, and so we put them up here so they can recognize names and start working on writing. Over here we have our star of the week and we do that in alphabetical order. And so the students bring a parent letter and they bring their favorite book. Um, they say what their favorite color is, their favorite book, and when they grow up what they want to be. Right here we have our list of daily five. We do the daily five in here starting on Monday. And so they start with read to self and then they work on writing. They can read to someone, word work, and at the end of the year um, we do listen to reading as well. Over here is where the students will check in. They have their lunch count and they either put a hot or cold um, stick in there to let us know what they are eating and that they are here today. And down here they pick for their kid time where they will go and play in the dome or in the classroom. Right here is a new thing that we're doing this year for a behavior chart. Every single day they're going to start on the green where they're ready to start the rainforest adventure and they all have a clip with their name. If they are showing positive behavior or good behavior, they can move up. And they're all labeled by the rainforest level, so if they move up, it would be the canopy layer. And at the top, it's the emergent layer. Um, if they need some reminders, they might need to move their clip down a level to um, the understory layer. And that just means that they can always move up. Uh, if they need another reminder, they move down to the forest floor. And that just means that they know that they need to show their best and try a little bit harder. If they do need another warning, they would go down to the SSC. Um, and that is where you guys would get a phone call. A parent would get a phone call explaining that they made some mistakes, but they'll learn from them. Over here we have the word wall. So right now it's pretty bare. We just have the colors up there. But as each student is introduced and they're the star of the week, their name will be added up there as well as our star words will be up there. Right here is a new area that we have this year. It's a writing center. So each student would get a crayon cup. They can come to this area every single day. Um, and they have little storage bins under here. The chairs actually have storage under them so they can lift them up and grab things out of there as well. And then over here we have our computer center. We're actually getting another computer so the students can do daily five here. They can listen to reading or they can work on websites for kid time. Over here is our smart board. If you're not familiar with the smart board, this is where we do most of our learning. Um, we do our math on here and our whole group reading and we'll do some morning meeting activities on here. The students sit on the carpet and they can interact with the smart board. They can use their hands, they can create words, they can do go on to different websites and interact with those. So this is one of their favorite things in the classroom. Over here is where we do whole group reading and story time. I do reciprocal teaching in my classroom so we use um, different props and puppets. So that's Paula the predictor, Quincy the questioner, Claire the clarifier, and Sammy the summarizer. And down here they just have all the different props that they use. So sometimes they dress up as a cowboy, sometimes they use the microphone to question. That ball right there is a crystal ball for clarifying or predicting. And then the magnifying glass right there is for clarifying or taking a closer look at things. So that is our whole group reading area. This is our small group reading area since it's the rainforest room. This is our reading hut that we have. And the students just kind of sit around it and we usually have about four to five kids per group. Over here we have another reading area that this is where the students can read to themselves every day. They usually like to grab a stuffed animal and all the books are leveled by, by their ability and by what they like to pick. So we learn about daily five, how they can pick, what's the purpose, what's their interest for reading, will they comprehend it if they read it, and how do they know um, if they know most of the words. So right here you can see the baskets, they kind of match up with the stickers as well so that no matter what ability they're at, they have a good fit book for them. And these are their book bags. Each student gets their own book bag as well and they stick it with two good fit books for them and then one book that they're going to read for enjoyment. Maybe they'll just, maybe it's not at their ability yet, but they can look at the pictures and create their own words or story. Over here is where we have all our supplies for the tables, glue bins, um, and we do sharing in here so we share all our markers, we share our glue, we share our scissors. And last thing we have um, all our kid time stuff, a lot of the kids like to play trucks and cars and community over here. 
and we have all our kit time stuff in here as well as out in the dome. And last but not least, we have our mailboxes. This is where the students end every single day. Um, they put their projects in here and pick up their items so they don't forget to take anything home. So I hope you enjoyed the classroom tour.